Well, I haven't really done a video exposing Steven Anderson's new IFB cult for quite a while now, so I figured I'd do some more stuff uh, just exposing this uh, satanic cult, essentially, of the new IFB. Because I, I used to be part of the new IFB back in, I'd say from 2017 to around like March of 2019 is when you know, I, I began to fall away. But you know, this cult needs to be exposed because they're getting lots of media attention and they're essentially just the new Westboro, the new media psyop to demonize the King James Bible believing movement. So, but in this particular clip, uh, I've shown this guy in the past, his name is Evangelist Paul Schwenk, and he's pointing out essentially the absence of internet pastors in the Bible. And just want to quickly read a verse of scripture on the matter is the fact that, you know, because essentially Anderson would not be where he is today without the internet. You see, the new IFB was not built up by God, it was built up by their Wi-Fi routers. It was built up by the internet, by various internet stunts and YouTube stunts they tried doing. And the fact of the matter is that there's not one internet pastor in the entire New Testament, okay? When Paul was ordained a minister, okay, it was among the church, physically among the church. And they knew the minister and had actual interaction with the minister in person, okay? Acts 13, verses 1 to 3. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simon that was called Niger and Lysias, probably not saying that right, of Cyrene and Menian, which had been brought up with Herod and Herod the Tetrarch, again, probably not saying these names, right? And Saul, as they ministered to the Lord, they fasted, and the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So when Paul was ordained in the ministry, they were it was physical. See, it wasn't some kind of self-declared uh, internet pastor, like, you know, like, I don't know, some guy like, you know, in maybe northern Maine. Or maybe also you have a, you know, have a little lackey over in um, uh, Indiana, too, which, you know, there there certainly are, they, they're certainly fun to, you know, uh, watch every once in a while. But essentially, there's no internet pastors anywhere. See, the pastor, the minister is somebody you know in person. You've seen them in person, you interact with them in person. And Schwenk is doing a pretty good job of pointing out the fact that there's no internet pastors and essentially just calling out Anderson, you know, calling out his new IFB cult for the, you know, internet cult that they are. So here it is. Here's a clip of, uh, of him doing just that. Do you know, if you ever study false religions in America, almost all of the big time, and there's a lot of little ones that, you know, Mickey Mouse ones, but false religions in America, do you know, it's really stunning. There's kind of two things that really kind of start them down the wrong path. You know what those two things would be? First, most of them start with uh, setting the date of Jesus' return. That just seems to be a real fast way to start a false religion. I don't know why. Do you know the second one? A confounded view as to who Israel is. Yeah. So many false religions come from people who spiritualize Israel. Come on. You say, well, when the Bible talks about Israel, what's the Lord talking about? Israel. Israel. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. So when the internet pastors say from North Dakota, or why not Costa Rica, or Arizona, wants to be your pastor, you better go to the Word of God and say, I'm supposed to have a pastor in 1 Timothy that meets qualifications. I'm supposed to have a pastor according to Titus that meets qualifications. I'm supposed to have a pastor that I have a personal knowledge of, and I know his testimony, and I know that God has put him in my life, and I know, I know the Internet is amazing. But you just can't reach your fingers through the World Wide Web and know that man. So that's why in all the Bible, and I double-checked it, there are no internet pastors. Say, so, well, I got an internet pastor. Then you're not following the Bible. Right. So get rid of your internet pastor and go to a New Testament local church. 
Get yourself baptized, become a member of the church, start giving, start serving the Lord, start being faithful. And when your pastor is not 100% perfect, you just laugh and say, well, neither am I. And by the grace of God, you just say, I'm going to serve the Lord because though I may know my pastor as a normal guy, I may know my pastor as one of us, I may know my pastor, and for all of his successes, you know, he's got a fault or two, like he's got me as a church member, that's his biggest fault. And, and I know my pastor may not be as cool as that guy on the internet, and he may not be as funny as that guy on the internet, and he may not come across as arrogant as that guy on the internet. And maybe my pastor hasn't been arrested like that guy on the internet. And maybe my pastor's not on the news making a fool of himself every night on the internet. And maybe my pastor's not disgracing himself on the internet. But he's still my pastor. He does make a very good point, though. You know, the new IFB, especially Anderson, are indeed in the news making just a complete joke out of themselves all the time. You know, and uh, not just out of themselves, but also out of the Bible believing movement as a whole, the King James Bible believing movement. They get on the news and just make absolute fools and, and, and just clowns out of themselves. You know, it's a joke. That's why this movement has to be exposed. That's why I've done so many videos and plan to do more videos exposing this cult. Not just because I'm a former, you know, idolater of Anderson, but also the fact that, you know, this group is the new Westboro, you know, media style being raised up to demonize the Bible believing movement, demonize King James Bible believers. So, I wanted to point that out. So, not saying I agree with everything Schwank said in the entire sermon, but that clip in particular was to be noted. So anyway, wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by the new IFB cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.